YouTube fans, we thought we would go live tonight just to make sure that this thing is working properly and and, um, and that audio is working and the video looks good or as good as it can. Um, oh, I got my message that I just went live. So cool. Um, so all we're doing here is testing that it all works. So if you happen to be perusing our channel and you see this, if you could say something in the chat to let us know if this is looking good, sounding good, all of that, that would be really beneficial if you could do that. But uh, it's just a test. So I can stop the live stream, listen to it play back and know for sure. But it would be good to get some live feedback from some of you. So I'm not going to stay on to, well, there you go. Woohoo. Is, is the audio good? Oh, well, thank you, Zebulon. Uh, good, Blue, thank you very much. So um, I just, just good, I'm glad. You know, we're using the microphone, but we're not using, and I'm a little, uh, Brad in Australia, welcome. Uh, yeah, no shaving so far today and didn't mess with the hair. Um, anyway, <laughs> I'm just, I'm just doing it to make sure if you knew, well, I won't bore you with this. Uh, all of this, but let me just tell you, I've spent the last 10 hours trying to make this work. And uh, yeah, so 10 hours. And I won't explain it to you because it's boring probably for you. Um, it wasn't boring for me. It was kind of frustrating, but that's okay. Anyway, yeah, I, I don't always shave. You know, I don't have to shave. Back in the days when I was a television news reporter and anchor, I had to shave. Um, yeah. Okay, cool. A little minor clipping. So I need to turn my volume down somehow. I'm not sure how I'm going to accomplish that. Maybe I just won't talk so loud. I have a, tense, a tendency to do that when I can't hear myself. Anyway. Um... Yeah, so uh, thank you for that feedback, Brad. How, how are we doing now with the clipping? Are we still having clipping? And you said minor, so hopefully it wasn't too annoying. Uh, the lighting is not the best in here. I, I added some lighting for this. Normally, it's much darker in here. And I'll explain that tomorrow if indeed, um, if indeed you want to know. Um, good. Thank you, Brad. I appreciate that. Uh, Blue says, uh, talk loud. <laughs> you got your fan going. Okay, cool. So let me just... Zebulon didn't get any clipping. Okay, good. Perhaps that... Um, perhaps it's influenced by the volume on your end, the volume you have. But anyway, so this is really cool. Glad to have you guys here. Um, now that we've checked this out, is the video okay though? Is the video, it looks a little dark, looks a little bright here because you can see the, uh, I've got a light right above me. And uh, where was I an anchor, a television news anchor? Um, Fayetteville, Arkansas, most recently, but that was like a decade ago or a little over a decade ago. And uh, thank you, Brad, for the comment about the, uh, the video. And uh, before that, Lawton, Oklahoma, a long time ago, when I was uh, 20 years old, 21, so like 40-some years ago, um, I did television sports in my hometown of Sioux City, Iowa, and then Peoria, Illinois. So, okay, cool. Well, I appreciate you all very much for your feedback and letting me know what's going on and, uh, and that we're good to go for tomorrow. I'm going to open this door. This booth that I am in is the exterior dimensions are three and a half feet by three and a half feet. So it's a cube. Well, it's not a cube because it's a little taller than, than three and a half feet, obviously. Um, but, and, and then you, you put uh, all kinds of stuff inside. So I have a very small space, which I'm totally fine with. Um, but then you put this, I put my computer, I put my 27-inch iMac in the booth. That's how I finally 
figured out how to do this. I've got lighting up above, lighting in front of me. That all generates heat. And so when I'm normally in the booth, it's very hot. And um, anyway, I don't, you know, this is the other thing that's kind of funny in doing it for the first time. What are people really going to be interested in? Am I sharing with them things they don't care at a bit about? So we'll, uh, we'll find out, I guess, tomorrow when we go live. Anyway, so Brad, what time is it? What time is it there? And what day is it for you? Is it Thursday? It's got to be Thursday already, right? Thursday night? I don't know. Anyway, thank you all very much. I'm going to probably delete this. Um, you have binge listened to the videos. Cool. 2 p.m. Thursday. Okay. Um, yeah, Zebulon, if you can't make it, you can't make it. I I'm going to do more than one. We're, we may do one a month if people really want to, you know, care to know. Uh, and then if we do that, we're going to change the times so that we, you know, because we have people in every corner of the world um, listening to the podcast. It's amazing how many countries. And uh, so anyway, if you can't make it, Zebulon, no problem. So when you say you binge listen to them, Brad, can you identify that? Did you listen to all of them in a week? Has it been two weeks? Just curious. It's always, you know, this is the other reason why we want to go live to get feedback from people. Um, I, I think that's going to be just a really, not only interesting thing, but maybe crucial to the development of our channel, you know? Um, so I'm, I'm really looking forward to the feedback. And, for those that can make it, great. And if you can't, you can't. Uh, found, oh my goodness, Brad found us last night. Wow. Yeah, thank you, Zebulon. Yeah, we're, we're thinking maybe once a month. I think it'll be fun to uh, read something once a month, you know. I think that would be, would be fun. Uh, let me just grab something for the heck of it. Oh, cool. You like the man who liked lions? You know, I love that story. I think it's a fascinating story. The guy, John Bernard Daly, you'll probably never hear anybody ever narrate anything else by him. I think I'm the first one ever to have narrated, and he only did three stories, but um, that's cool. Yeah, I think it's brilliant too. I really love that story. And I, and I love when the the big woman in the beginning of the story with her child is there and she says that, you know, the lions will eat her, the little kid. And, and then he says, uh, lions don't eat people. <laughs> um, anyway, that one's really fun for me. Uh, let me just grab something here quick for the heck of it. Now, I wonder if I'm getting audio through my speakers. Oh, the good news is I am not. Okay, let's just, there's a, there's a new Philip K. Dick story, actually two or three of them, that, uh, that I've never done before that are just now available in the public domain that, I, that I'm aware of. Um, and I haven't read this, so this is not really fair, but uh, it's probably not going to be a fair and accurate representation, but um, it's called The Father Thing by Philip K. Dick. Dinner's ready, commanded Mrs. Walton. Go get your father and tell him to wash his hands. The same applies to you, young man. She carried a steaming casserole to the neatly set table. You'll find him out in the garage. Charles hesitated. He was only eight years old. And the problem bothering him would have confounded Hillel. Now, see, I would look that up in advance. I love this goal, too. I would, I would have looked up Hillel. Is that a reference to somebody I should know? Uh, and I could be pronouncing it wrong. So that's one of the things I pre-read every story. So I are, well, I'm getting into too much detail for tonight. But anyway, um, 
So we're gonna we're not gonna do that one tomorrow, but I'll be narrating that one in the not too distant future. So, okay. Well, I want to thank you all uh, for participating tonight. Just jumping on, let me know that it sounds good, looks good, um, and if you can make it tomorrow, that's great. And if you can't, I understand, no problem. There will be a replay. Um, and I don't know how long that will take because I don't know how long we're going to go. And then there's processing time and all that. But we'll see. So thank you. Thank you, Steve. I appreciate that. Where are you from, Steve? If you don't mind me asking. The old uh, radio talk show host, and I did that as well as, uh, well, I did a lot of things in the media over the course of my lifetime. Mesa, Arizona. Been there many times. Uh, I like Mesa. I like Costa Rica better because it's cooler here. We're up in the mountains. Oh, thank you, Zebulon. I appreciate you. Um, I appreciate everybody that that listens to us, whether it's on Facebook or Apple Podcasts or Google Podcasts or whatever, Spotify. Um, Oh, we are in the mountains. Yeah, 117 today. Uh, That's ridiculous. But it's a dry heat, Steve. It's a dry heat. Um, here, I'm just outside of San Jose, Costa Rica, the capital, and we're up in the mountains. And so our year round temperatures year round, 63 to 65 for the lows. And we sometimes hit 80 and sometimes make it to 81 or 82. Never gets warmer than that. Never gets cooler than that. Fascinating, at least I think it's a fascinating fact. Maybe none of you will, but I do. Fascinating fact to me is that we don't have central air conditioning and we don't have heating. So there's no AC or there's no thermostat on the wall. You don't ever need it here. I think that's fascinating. Electrical bill. Yeah. (laughs) Steve, I'm telling you, it's a great place. Although it's gotten more expensive than it used to be in Costa Rica. Anyway. So thank you all. I uh, gosh, there's uh, there's nine or nine or ten people on all of a sudden. That's cool. So I just want to thank you, and I want to thank you not just for being here tonight, but thank you for listening. You know, when I started this uh, podcast a year and four months ago, it appeared on uh, YouTube about a year and two or three months ago. When I started it, I had no idea if anybody would listen or care. But I started it because I'm passionate about these. I I love sci-fi. And then there are these stories that nobody's ever heard before. Uh, They may have read them, but nobody's heard them before. And then I get all the time, um, and, and this is extremely gratifying, from people in their 70s and 80s, I hear constantly that they can't read as well as they used to, their vision. <clears throat> excuse me, isn't as good. Um, oh, thank you, Richard. It's nice to put a face on the best narrator on YouTube. Well, I, I missed that part. Um, is it too much? Not for me. <laughs> Richard, it's not too much for me. Might be too much for some other narrators and some other people. But, uh, oh, thank you, Brad. I appreciate that. Brad seconds that. So uh, where was I? What was I talking about? I don't remember. Oh, hearing from, I just heard an email from a guy, 71 years old today, and uh, he can't read as well as he used to. So he listens, and this brings him great joy. And, um, and that brings me great joy, you know? So when I started this, I didn't know if anybody would care. We're up to almost 2,000 subscribers on YouTube. When you add the YouTube listeners and our podcast listeners, we have thousands and thousands of people listening in, I don't know, close to a, probably somewhere around a hundred countries around the world and thousands and thousands of cities and towns all over the world in every time zone. So that's why when we go live, maybe if you guys want it, I'm not going to do it if, if nobody wants it, but maybe in the future, we're going to do this about once a month and we will vary the times So I might do it at 2 or 3 o'clock in the morning, my time, which currently is mountain time in the U.S. So that would be 
<clears throat> like I, I did it at two in the morning. That would be um, uh, two in the morning would be four New York time. But that would appeal to people in different parts of the world. So I think that's what we're going to do. Uh, more listeners on YouTube or podcasts. I think podcast for now. That may not be the case always, but podcasts uh, for now. Yeah. But it's, but it's getting closer to a 50-50 thing. So that's pretty cool. Um, YouTube is such a great platform and such a huge platform. And uh, yeah, but I, I just love doing this. I love doing it. And I, I hope that it shows in every one of the stories that we have. Oh, wow. Wayward says it's 2.15 p.m. in Sydney, Australia right now. So if we did this, okay, it's 10. So if we did it four hours from now or five hours from now, that'd be 7 o'clock in Sydney. So five hours from now, it'd be 3 o'clock in the morning uh, in Costa Rica. For me, that's not a problem. Um, oh, Brad's telling Wayward where he's from. You know, that, that's the cool thing. I, I, we have a lot of people in Australia and New Zealand that, uh, that both listen to the podcast and listen to it here on YouTube. A lot of them. And never saw that one coming, you know. And uh, countries all over um, uh, Africa, Europe. It, it's just really cool. So I thank you each and every one of you for being on tonight. I don't know. Should I keep this, um, uh, save it, or just delete it? What do you think? Will anybody care about this in the future? I'll leave it up to you guys if you don't mind commenting. And if you don't want to, that's fine too. Anyway, I'm going to end this, and I thank you very much for letting me know on this test that everything is working great. And, uh, and I appreciate you. And I may or may not shave tomorrow for the the actual live, um, Steve says, save it. Cool. I may, and the only reason I shave is because it starts to itch after a few days and I hate the itching. I hate shaving, but I hate the itching even more. I don't know if any of you guys can relate to that. Anyway, thank you. I'm going to end the live stream now.